Hi everyone! In this video, we are going to learn about landscape art. Our learning goals are I can identify foreground, middle ground, background, and horizon line. And I can create a landscape. So what is a landscape? A landscape is a picture of nature. So any kind of artwork of outside, sky, land, trees, grass, flowers, mountains, maybe a little river. A landscape is a picture of nature. Artists use space and depth to make an artwork look more realistic. So typically, an artist is working on a flat piece of paper, but they can create the illusion of depth by how they arrange their objects on that paper by using foreground, middle ground. So an artist can make something look close to you by putting it in the foreground or make something look really far away by making it small and putting it in the background. Let's take a closer look at each of those areas. The foreground is an area in an artwork that appears closest to us. Starts at the bottom of your artwork and objects in this area are the biggest. They're big and they look like they're close to you. The middle ground is areas in the middle of your artwork. The objects in this area are medium sized. They are smaller than the foreground, but they'll be bigger than objects in the background. And the background is areas that appear to be the furthest away. They are closer to the top of your paper, and objects in this area are small. They're teeny tiny because they are supposed to be far, far away, and anything that's far away from us looks smaller. So when you're putting things in your background, you have to make them smaller than things in your middle ground and foreground. The sky is also going to be included in your background. The horizon line is where the sky and the land meet in a picture. You can see here there is a line where the sky meets the land and that is called the horizon line. That's important when making a landscape. This is an artwork done by Ramiro Brito, and his art is part of the pop art movement. Can you identify the foreground, middle ground, and background of his artwork? In the foreground, you have those big flowers down at the bottom of the paper. They are big and they appear closest to us. The middle ground, you have some land or grass, maybe even those trees. And then in the background, you have the house. Notice how the house is smaller. It's the smallest object in the artwork. Even the flowers are bigger than the window of the house. It appears to be far away because it is smaller. So now we're going to make our own art using foreground, middle ground, and background to show things close to us and show things far away.